Minnesota pillow entrepreneur Mike Lindell has made allegations of widespread election fraud his brand, starting almost immediately after the 2020 election. Lindell claims he spent more than $3 million investigating fraud and recently paid for a two-hour video he said would be absolute proof that the election was stolen from President Donald Trump. But to date, he has produced no original evidence. Instead, Lindell recycles conspiracy theories from others. We watched his absolute proof video, seen here, and asked him about his most consistent claims during a two-hour video interview with the Star Tribune. Let's take a deeper look at those claims and fact-check how they've been debunked. Lindell's first claim, that makers of voting machines conspired to flip votes from Trump to Joe Biden. Here's what strikes me funny, that nobody, nobody wants to look at this and say, hey, let's look at this. In Antrim County in Michigan, they have the case there. 7,000 votes were flipped inside the machine, and it matches my forensics perfectly. This false claim originated after unofficial results showed Biden suspiciously leading by a large margin in the Republican-leaning Antrim County. Yet according to the Michigan Department of State, this was caused by human error when a Republican county clerk forgot to update the software used to collect data from the voting machines. A hand recount of paper ballots confirmed that Dominion's equipment accurately tabulated the votes cast for president in Antrim County, which Trump won by 3,800 votes. Lindell's second claim that other countries led by China interfered in the election by hacking voting machines. I mean, if you guys watch this, you're going to go, wow, our country is under attack. This isn't Democrat and Republican. You know, this is China. 60% of these attacks, the IP addresses and the IDs of the computers, this is inside the spyware, came over here from China. The federal agency that oversees U.S. election security says it's not possible to hack electronic voting machines without the intrusion being recorded via logs and software checks of voting systems. Last year, each state's post-election review found no evidence of vote manipulation by foreign hackers or any other widespread fraud. Lindell's third claim that ballots were fraudulently cast in the names of dead people and other ineligible voters. Why would, why would dead people, here, let's just take Georgia. Georgia, he lost by 11,730 votes. You take that, there was 27,000 people that don't live in Georgia voted for Biden. This is craziness. Lindell's video cycles through charts listing large numbers of dead people and ineligible voters, but he provided no sourcing. In Georgia, Republican Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger said only two voters in the 2020 presidential election were found to be deceased. He also added that many people living out of state can lawfully vote in Georgia, including college students and military personnel. None of these repackaged claims has persuaded any judge from overturning the results of the election. Nor did they stop state or federal lawmakers from certifying Joe Biden's win. Lindell's motivations for continuing his misinformation campaign are unclear, but this could cost him everything. Dominion, the company at the center of his conspiracies, has countered with a $1.3 billion defamation suit, exposing Lindell and the MyPillow he founded to potential financial ruin.